Okay, so these are going to be my swing arms. What I did was I got some uh, three-quarter inch conduit and I put back-to-back -back turns in it uh, to make this nice little S-curve. And then I put the end that's going to connect to the harness in a vise and flatten it out. But that's hollow and not very thick. So to reinforce it, I cut some thick pieces of steel I'm going to put those inside, weld them in at the end, and then drill it out. And then I ordered these shackles off of Amazon. Um, I got like four of them for like eight bucks. So once that's drilled out, I'll put the shackles on the end and I'll have a connection point for the uh, harness. So I have my hole drilled through my arm and through the insert piece that goes inside the socket and through the back plate of the socket made of the angle iron and I've got it bolted in place and now I'm just going to tack it and then weld the arm to the plate. So it's finally starting to look like a paramotor. I got the arms attached, got the welds done, got the bolt running all the way through from the outside to the inside with double lock nuts to hold it on. I might have to shorten down that bolt a little bit. Uh, depends on where the motor mounts and stuff are gonna be. But uh, it looks good, I just don't know if it'll function. So I think the next step, I'm gonna get in the last two spars and then I'm gonna improvise a uh, cheap harness to sit in so I can do a hang test to see if this thing can even handle holding my weight and the weight of a motor. I'm not going to go buy a real harness for a few hundred dollars just to do my hang test. What I'm going to do instead is take this $15 camping chair from Walmart and I'm going to take the canvas seat and the armrest off and I'm going to do a little sewing and use the armrest as shoulder straps and attach some one inch webbing at the top and at the corners and I'm going to tie that in to my frame and use that for my hang test. I used some scrap to weld up this um, hanging brace that is going to simulate the weight of the motor when I do my hang test. I've got uh, 40 pounds of plate weights that I'm going to put on here and that should be about as heavy uh, or a little heavier than a Moster 185. So I'm going to hang that on there and then I'll hang my uh, seat on the front and then hoist it up and see what happens.